What's up guys, welcome back to Geometry Dash. It is time to play another demon and in this video we are going to play Toe 3 or Theory of Everything 3 made by Manic648. It is a non-official installment of the series but I'm still pretty excited because the first two were pretty awesome so we will see if this one has what it takes. And the song that is used is also called Toe 3, so I'm not sure if that is non-official too, like a fan-made version or an official sequel. But okay, it starts off kind of difficult, I need to jump through that like that, okay, okay. And then there is another jump ring in that gravity switch, I think. Yep, I'm right, okay, okay. So a lot of, I can already see there will be a lot of jump rings, which are going to be traps, so I always have to be on the lookout for these jump ring traps. Do I even have to use any of those jump rings or are those traps too, uh, like the two yellow ones? I'm just gonna try... Yeah, you don't even have to use a single one, so never mind. Okay, now. Ah, I have to... I have to get that timing down. I have to use the green one a little bit later. Okay, we are racking up on attempts pretty fast. There we go, much better. And, okay, that was perfect. That was right. Oh, I'm actually doing kinda well. We got a thousand orbs, that's pretty good. And okay, yeah, it seems like maybe that's only going to be the beginning or it's going to be a major, like, gimmick or design choice in this level that we will have a lot of traps and fake jump rings. Jump, jump, and jump again. And that was good, and those are like these little sides, I think. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but I can't see them too well. Because they're such a bright white, but yeah, I do have to avoid them all. There we go. Okay, okay, use everything you see. I didn't get the coin. I'm not sure how do you get the coin, because the blue jump ring has a cross. It's crossed out. So I'm going to assume it will always kill you. Unless, of course, it's just supposed to look like a trap, but it will actually get you the coin. I have no idea. Alright, I think I will start with practice mode actually right away Because it's nothing personal level, but this beginning is pretty difficult and so tricky to know exactly what's going on And of course I do want to know how to get that coin. I just assume that I do have to use that blue jump ring No, okay, so that is a trap. Maybe I have to use it really late ah, and maybe there's a jump ring another one hidden behind the coin oh, Okay, that's interesting do I have to fall down? Alright, I think I'm gonna give up. I, I have no idea how to get that, so never mind. Here, I think I just have to drop down and then, yeah, use the yellow one. So use one jump ring, use the yellow one. Ready? Ready for the drop? Is this going to be where it really starts? All of this was just warming up. Of course, we do have practice mode, so we don't have the drop in the music. What the heck? It's a spider, right? It has to be a spider. And that's so weird. You have to wait for a bit, but then go up. Okay, and then go down. Oh god, oh god. Seems like we're going to have some memorization spider. So go down like that and then immediately switch again? Is that seriously what I have to do? Oh god, that's such a little, like, time frame. You don't even have any time to react here. Then you have to do that and then up, down, up. Yeah, because that's a key. It opens up the part afterwards. Oh goodness. I have to concentrate so hard here. Okay, UFO, hopefully this is not going to be as bad. Yeah, that looks way better. What? Avoid cracked pillars. I don't see any cracked pillars, to be honest. I'm just going to follow the arrows. I think that's the best way to do this. Jump to switch. Oh no! Oh, that's so cool! It's one of these! I love these things. The jump to switch gimmick. Ah, uh, are there multiple ways? No, I, th I think that's... Yeah, you kind of mess up if you do that. I still have no idea how you can even come up with that. It's so perfect. Oh, what? Wait, is that right? Oh, what? Wait. Why was it... Can I just spam? Why is it, like, tilted? That is so weird, but I love it. Okay, that kind of worked. Ah, and then there's a jump ring down below, so that also works if I go down here. And then there's... Ah, maybe I can kind of trick it by doing that. Keep going. I'm not even there yet. Um, I still have to get through this part. Maybe just one jump. Keep going. How do I get to that part? 
Ah, maybe like that. Okay, that kind of worked. I'm not sure if that was the best way. Another one. Holy crap. But this one seems... Yeah, way easier. That was super simple. And then we have a ship oh, and rotating objects all over. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, I like this part. It's not too difficult. Darn it, that's a big size portal. But yeah, I like... I like how you kind of have to see where it's going to go to. And then there is a gravity switch again. So, drop down. Okay. What? Um... Uh, okay, I kind of messed up. Okay, so I have to collect those red crystals. And then that red crystal gate is gonna open up. Kind of makes sense. So, uh, like that. Okay, that's the timing. Ah, and then there's a jump orb here. Oh, God. So, I'm so glad I'm in practice mode. Because good luck doing this without practice. You have to really know what's going to uh, happen next. Holy crap. Like that, and then jump immediately, use that. Ah, that's clever! Okay, here I actually have to avoid the red thing. Is that impossible? I think I made it- yeah, I made it impossible for myself. I have to time this better. Okay, there we go, finally. Uh, that- I'm not sure- ah, darn it, I'm back here. I'm not sure if that was meant to be that way. Okay, like that. Oh, what the heck, do I have to use these little- Yeah, I have to use the little tiny spots you get to use your spider with that's so weird it feels super weird but it of course does absolutely make sense i know exactly what's going on here whoa back to ro whoa back to rotating okay that's kind of cool uh, that's an awesome part i have to go down first and then go up together with those things here oh nice and then go down again okay okay and this seems more uh more more relaxing just go down here Use the dash orb, and that is... Ah, darn it. Never save during dash orbs, because you will just die. So, go up, go down, dash orb, and then save. And that is a trap. I can see the cross out yellow jump ring. And that I have to use as late as possible, or else I'll die. Like that. And then don't jump. That's also a trap. I saw the cross. Ah, don't use any of them. Only the green, green one. Oh no, it's like the Toe 2, right? That part is totally in Toe 2, I'm pretty sure. Where you have to spam with the UFO. That's still kind of difficult. Oh no, I'm falling into the abyss. It's kind of difficult, but nothing too bad. And then you have to stop. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely... I'm pretty sure it's a reference to the original Toe 2. There we go, that was good. Keep going, keep going. We have so many keep goings, because this is pretty difficult. Ah! Okay, so those blocks without a blue little orb in the center are traps. And how does this work? Alright, that is kind of dumb. What? So everything is just wrong. Everything is fake. Everything you've learned so far, you have to throw that out of the window and just use the traps pretty much. And you kind of have to know that the spikes are your friends too. A bit odd, but okay, let's keep going. So, yeah, so, okay, nothing you learn. You cannot trust anything in this level because there apparently is no pattern whatsoever. You just have to know where you have to go. And okay, this also kind of reminds me of Toe 2, which I like. I like the slow ship part here, so maybe... I can do it well. Okay, just go up here, use the jump ring. Yeah, once you know where you have to go, it's not bad at all. What is that? Are these my friends? Okay, that's cool. If this is not too difficult, just like a little fun, simple part, that is super cool. You kind of have to ride on these snakes here. But that's a bit weird. Do I, can I just wait until, yeah, the last moment, okay. There we go, perfect. Then jump again. And then it's wave. Wait, that must be it. That must be the, yeah, the non-lethal wave. Okay, that's a bit odd. When is it, when is it going to kill me and when isn't it going to kill me? That's something you just have to know here. And then let's go, right? Yep. And then, do I have to, do I even have to use the green one? No, I don't. I think I can just kind of let myself fall here and then, oh god. Oh, this is difficult. What the heck is this? Wait, so, yeah, like that. Oh god! Okay, I did it. And then go all the way down. And then all the way up. This is difficult. Like, we're almost at 500 attempts. First practice mode session. Holy moly. Have mercy. This is gonna be a very hard level. Is that Swing Copter? I think it's Swing Copter. Wait. 
I have to go- Hello? I have to go up? Okay, there we go. Oh! Oh my god! We're so close! Can I get to the end? No! So- Ah, it almost sucked me in! That is so close, you can almost cheese the ending. Can I just please? Okay, stop. Like that? Yeah, oh my god, what the heck? So use the jump ring, and then maybe don't jump, just use it like that? Maybe as late as possible? Or do I have to jump? I don't know, I give up. I give up trying to understand this level. Okay, that worked. And th oh, that's okay, that's also cool. It's the toe to ending, and you actually fully go into the monster's maw. The monster's maw. Alright, that was toe three. That was freaking difficult to even learn. Learning this level apparently is going to be super difficult, but then we will see how difficult it's going to be to complete it. Alright, so I am back in practice mode because the last time I was in practice was so messy, I really had no idea what was going on. So I want to just quickly do one more run through, maybe try to explain how I do certain parts and maybe try to give some tips if I can. But overall, just show how much I've progressed since then. The beginning still kills me sometimes, pretty much every part in this level kills me a few times. But here we go, the spider is where it really starts. And here, this is all about not switching too fast and not switching too slow. Everything else is pretty okay. You just have to know how the way is, but yeah, that still gives me some trouble. I just have to realize, don't be too fast. Don't be too slow. Now the UFO is very simple. The only thing you can really mess up is the beginning here. But if you get those two good jumps, it's pretty much easy every time. Then the ball, not too bad. And now the jump to switch, how I do it is I have a set pattern. Not sure if it's the best, but I just go down here, go up here, and then jump in the air so it switches. And then do the same thing here, jump in the air, and it's pretty simple. Now we are at one of the hardest parts in the level, in my opinion. Maybe the hardest part, I'm not sure, but it's so tight. It looks kind of simple, but you can die so easily. I have no idea what's happening here. And of course, it's followed by this freaking robot part, which is also difficult. Just all around, one of the hardest just segments in the level, in my opinion. Then jump over this. Okay. And then we have a somewhat relaxing spider. What I do here is I use the jump orbs kinda when I'm in the middle of them and it works. And now the ship part, this started off so difficult, but the more I did it, just the easier it got. And just overall, it's not too bad anymore. There we go. That was it. And then another relaxing part. You really need these relaxing parts here and there because this level is so difficult and so long. It's really, just never underestimate this level. Don't do it. And then spam down here. Oh god. Da -da 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 -da. There we go. And then jump once at the end of it. Like that. Okay. And here, that thing where you just have to know the freaking way. So annoying to learn, but kind of satisfying to do right once you know the pattern and the correct ways. Okay, then easy, slow ship. And then this was so difficult to learn too, but it's actually easy. It's, it's just... Jump, 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 and then one more jump for the green one, and then it's not too bad. And here, honestly, I don't even care about the wave. It's just pure memory and muscle memory for me. Just know when to press jump, when to hold jump, and when not to, and it shouldn't be too bad. Then this freaking mini wave here, where you have to react very fast, go up, go down, and get steady. And this swing copter was really difficult at first, but it is pretty tight, but nothing too bad. And then the end is just very straightforward, just you have to know which jump rings to use, when to use them, and where to go, and then you can go into the monster and you're done. Still gonna take some practice, but I'm getting there. Nice, got the ball perfectly. And I messed up. Oh, I got the ball perfectly. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't get it perfectly at all. Darn it, I got it. I got the pattern right, but then I just jumped at the end. That was really weird. I didn't mean to jump, like I still knew the pattern. I guess that was just bad timing. I was holding down jump for too long.
Yeah, rip, rip this freaking ship part. Ah, it's so difficult. Dude, the robot. I just have to jump lower at first. I always jump too high and then I jump too low, always. Holy crap! Wow, I got so nervous. Okay, wow, this level. This level is seriously, like, turning into one of those levels. Oh, where you get so, so nervous. You're so afraid of failing. And every single jump, every single button press can mean your end. It's so intense. Oh my god. No! Ah, oh god. Seriously, the swing copter ruined my run. Ah... I'm so close though, I can totally beat this in any attempt now, totally. No! Oh, come on, what, what, what? I- No way, I messed it up. How the heck did that even happen? No! Oh, come on! That's so dumb. That is so dumb. I, I literally jumped. I jumped early enough. That's so unfair. What the heck? S like, that's actually the last part you can possibly die at. Oh my god, freaking finally! Oh my god, I'm so done. Wow, that was so freaking annoying. Dude, I am done. Holy crap. Oh, finally, dude, I am at the end of my nerves. This literally turned into another Furious, the Furious. This was so infuriating at the end, dude. Oh my god. Toe 3. Oh my god, theory of torture more like it, what the heck dude, 1630 attempts, I did not expect that. That's something I did not expect, and you know difficulty, sure, hard demon, I don't care, let's rate it as that. Oh my god, finally, I'm free, I'm free of Toe 3, hey, okay, ah, a pun for the end. I cannot believe it. It wasn't, like, I don't hate the level, but my god, was that a horrible finish. I died so many times, like, constantly. 90%, 92%, 95%, it did not stop. And even 96% was our worst fail, right? Non-stop. 
Wow, fails and torture, but there we go. That was it. That was Toe 3. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Until next time, take care.